Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial about Flix, an online learning and assessment solution designed for flat world knowledge by Lyrics Learning. Flix accompanies Flat World Knowledge's Financial Accounting Textbook by Joe Ben Hoyle and CJ Skender. In addition, Flix can accompany Principles of Economics, Microeconomics, or Macroeconomics textbooks by Libby Rittenberg and Tim Tregarthen. The following tutorial will walk through four specific parts of Flix. First, we'll look at what students get with the Flix program. Second, we'll look at what professors get with Flix. Third, we'll talk about customer support. And finally, we'll discuss how you can go about getting a demonstration of Flix set up or your own Flix account. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's take a look at what the student would experience inside the Flix course for financial accounting by Hoyle and Skender. I'm logged in as an instructor, so what a student would see here would be exactly the same except for this instructor tools bar. The instructor's tools bar would be missing. So the only thing a student would see is the study guide, the lab information, and the quiz information. Let's quickly look at those three parts. Let's start with lab information. The lab information is the same thing as homework. You can set up these homework assignments on your own and create them from scratch, or you can use our Ready, Set, Go course. If you adopt the Ready, Set, Go course, we preload 10 questions for each chapter that match the chapter contents. That way, you get a head start and kind of a turnkey solution. For the sake of this demonstration, we just have two labs set up today. In order to get an idea of what a student would see, a student would come in and click on the question number to start. You would have assigned this for them to be due at a certain time and to be a certain number of problems and difficulty level. This is the first question. This particular question requires that the student add in an account. By clicking on that account, they can pick which account is appropriate. You'll notice that we don't omit any of the choices. That way the student really does have to understand what account to enter in. They can even search for it in longer lists. Students will click on this area to go ahead and enter in a number. It's that easy. What's even better is in situations as you move down the line, this particular box can even act as a calculator. This spreadsheet button will open up a spreadsheet for the student to work inside, and of course they can print it and hand it in for you if you prefer to receive their homework that way. Now let me show you the true power of the grading and feedback that a student gets by showing you a partially completed problem in Flix. This particular problem already has an error in it. I've preset it up so that we can understand a little bit about the grading and the feedback that student gets with the Flix program. You'll notice here that the student has put in an incorrect number in their debits and credits line. Let's go ahead and click Submit and Mark. Once we click Submit and Mark, the problem shows up with particular coloring to indicate correct and incorrect. If there's a pink or a red color, that indicates an incorrect answer. Let's take a look at the grading for this problem. First, journal entry number one, the April 1st purchase. Purchases should have been debited to the amount of $125,000. And this will cost the student one mark. They've obviously put the incorrect information here. For journal entry number two, they put that information incorrectly. The addition that they did was off due to the incorrect journal entry from number one. So what happens? Flix explains that exact scenario to them and does not take away any points for the correct addition. They basically say that since you understand that if you add the two together, that that's the cost of goods sold, we'll let you have the points, but they will remind the student that indeed the correct answer was actually 305,000, which would have been okay 
had the student put the correct amount in journal entry 1. A grading of 8 out of 10 had been recorded. This is specific marking that you won't see in other programs on the market today. Let's look at quizzing for students. We haven't set up any quizzes in here today, but if we did, they would look exactly the same way as labs. Only there would be some more specific information about when to start them and when to finish them, and of course they may be locked until the professor deems that it's time for them to take the quiz. But it's pretty easy. Pretty easy to find your quizzes, pretty easy to find your, your labs or your homework, and then finally, really easy to practice. Practice is what students can do under the study guide button, the third component of Flix for students for financial accounting. If you click on the study guide, an interesting thing comes up. Now, since this is just a demo course, there's only one section, but in a real course, there would be probably 20 to 30 of these particular subject areas. And of course, it wouldn't say experimental questions. It would say things like FIFO, LIFO, liability, and other concepts in accounting. Now, when a student goes ahead and does work in this area and does it right, the bar is coded with a green segment. When they get answers wrong, it's coded with a red segment, and things that they have yet to try are in yellow. This particular area, student would note that, hey, they probably need to do a little bit more work. They can change this bar from more green than red and yellow by clicking on the practice button. If I click on the practice button, I'll open a window that brings me right into problems that deal with that subject area. Another way the student can change that bar to having more green than yellow is to just work on more homework assignments in the lab section of their Flix course. The more they complete within their homework and get correct, the more green will be available on that bar. This is a very important tool that allows students to assess their knowledge of the material in a non-threatening way. So there you have it, the three parts that comprise the student section of the Flix program. Once again, the lab or homework section, the quiz section, and finally, the study guide. Now let's move on to the instructor side of Flix. Whether you are adopting Flix for accounting or Flix for economics. The instructor side of the program is the same. The only difference would be the actual problems that you could assign. So for the sake of our demonstration today, I'm going to jump in to our Principles of Microeconomics course to show you the instructor side capabilities of the Flix software. As we mentioned before, in the student side presentation, the only difference between the instructor side and student side interface are the instructor's tools. The first part that we'll look at is the Managing Courses button under Instructor's Tools. I want to make it clear that one of the greatest things about Flix is the fact that it is so easy to use and get started with. Every single page not only has a dialog box for you to enter information, but it also has instructions right on the page. So if you forget or get confused, all you need to do is read the page to understand how to proceed. Right now, we're in the Manage Courses button. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the course information. This is just the place where that you can specify information about your course. You can also change the time zone so that your course assignments come due at the appropriate time for students in your time zone. Here is where you can view assignments for each chapter. Or if you choose to do assignments by week, you can create them and edit them here. I'll click on View and Edit, and it will bring us into the View and Edit lab screen. You will see, because I am in a Ready, Set, Go course, a bunch of labs are already set up for me. It is here where you can choose to edit them. You'll see that there's a start date an end date, the ability to change whether or not the homework assignment is required or optional, to give this particular homework assignment a number of attempts, to set the duration of this homework assignment, and to decide whether or not you will allow students to jump around in the questions by saying yes, they can split up the questions, or no, which makes 
it's such that the student would need to go from the first question to the second question to the third question in that exact order. One thing you'll want to note about our homework assignments and our quizzing is that these questions are all algorithmically generated. So students will receive the same question with different numbers. Now let's say you'd like to edit the questions in one of your labs. Let's click on Lab 4 and then click on Edit Questions. It is here where you can make changes to the existing lab or you can review the questions to make sure they're what you'd like them to be. So go ahead and click on Chapter 4 and we'll say Putting Demand and Supply to Work and then of course you can click on Demand and Supply Shifting. By doing that, you actually see the question and the difficulty rating. You can add this question to the lab. You can even view this question by clicking on it and clicking Try Question. When you click on Try Question, it allows you to go through this problem just as a student would. So you can understand if this is appropriate for the homework assignment that you are creating or editing. You can always make changes to your questions order by moving them up and down and you can save this lab, exit this lab without saving or reset this lab to the original lab that it was before you came here. It's all very easy and if you ever were to get confused all you need to do is scroll down and read the instructions. This particular text explains exactly how to set up labs and what all of the different settings mean. So there you have it. That's how you can edit labs in your course. Now, let's edit quizzes. Quizzes are slightly different. Quizzes have some different options. First, there's a start date and a due date. You can make this quiz required or optional, just like homework. You can give it a number of attempts, a duration, and then you can give it a password. You can do this for an extra level of protection, such that a student might have to come in, show their ID, and give the password to the quiz proctor before taking the quiz. And then finally, there's the ability to hide feedback. You can hide feedback for students until everyone in the course has taken the quiz, or you can allow students to see feedback at the exact time when they submit their question. That's completely up to you. If you have any questions about how to set these parameters, again, by scrolling down and reading the text that Flix and Lyrics provide, you can get a better understanding and remind yourself on how to set up quizzes. Putting questions in quizzes is the exact same as putting questions into homework, and you saw how easy that was already. So there you have it. That's how you create and view or edit labs and quizzes. Here's a place where you can manage student grades. This just allows you to check off what you'd like to appear in the fields, and you can always pull grades for labs or quizzes. By clicking on the student grade report, the report will come up for you to review. You can always export this information into comma delimited files and download them for posting or for putting into different places like your learning management system or in hard copy if you'd like. In the statistics section, you can view statistics for different labs that have been pre-created for this course or ones that you create. When you view statistics, you're simply given information about each question in the lab and how students are performing on that. This helps you to better understand what kind of questions are working for your students or maybe where you need to do more review, etc. So there you have it. That's pretty easy. That's the Manage Courses button. Here's an even easier button, which is Manage Students. If you click on the Manage Students button, you come to a page that allows you to do different things for your students. You can view them, you can see what course they're in, you can print off a list of them, and of course the most important thing is you can view their grades individually, so if a student comes into your class, you can reset a student's login or password in case he or she has misplaced it or forgotten it, and you can grant extensions and extra time for each lab so for students who have extenuating circumstances or students where you don't wish to give a limit 
on their assignments or quizzes. And then finally, you can view or revoke extensions under this button. Again, all very intuitive, all very easy to use and to work with in the Flix product. So that's it. Those are the pieces of the puzzle that will allow you to create great courses for your students. And remember, you really don't need to create a course at all if you adopt one of our Ready, Set, Go courses. Our Ready, Set, Go courses have labs already set up for you where students can practice and turn in homework to get a grade in your course. Now, let's talk a little bit about customer support with the Flix program. If you or your students need to get help using Flix at any time, there's a couple of places where they can do that. First of all, if a student is in the product itself and needs help, they can simply click on the help menu. The help button is on every page in the Flix program. This brings up an FAQ that can allow some students to do some self-help if they'd like. Now, I know not all students want self-help. If they click on contact, they also get a screen full of some email addresses where they can email student support. The Lyric staff is available seven days a week and will reply to inquiries within 24 hours. And by the way, that goes the same for you. If you have any questions while you're working in the Flix program, by clicking on the Contact Us link, you can get the instructor's support email address where you can request support from the Lyric staff. Now, when you're in Flatworld Knowledge's website, all you need to do is click on the Contact Us button under the Help menu. Once you click there, you can see our Get Help Now box, which will allow you to call us, email us, or start a live chat to get assistance. Often, getting help at Flat World Knowledge is best when a student is having trouble actually making the purchase of the product. Anytime you have questions about the functionality of the Flix product, or if it has something to do with content or grades, the best place to contact the staff is underneath the contact link. There it is. All the ways that you can get customer support through Lyrics and Flat World Knowledge for the Flix product. Now let's move on how you can get started today. Well, if you're watching this video, then you've probably found your way to our flatworldknowledge.com slash Flix demo video page. From that page, you'll see two buttons. By clicking on the Try Flix button, you'll be able to try Flix out as a student. You can sample a problem that's here, and there's some information about that problem in the green boxes as you scroll down on this page. Once you've decided that you'd like to get a little bit more in-depth with Flix, you will want to click on the Get Flix button. This takes you to a registration form. It's pretty basic. You just fill in your information about yourself and your course. But where it gets interesting is under assignment information. You can choose to either get Ready, Set, Go assignments, custom assignments, or self-serve assignments. Self-serve assessments have the most control. You would create your assignments and quizzes on your own from our list of preloaded questions. Custom assignments are unique. All you need to do is send your course outline into Lyrics Learning and they will create the assignments for you based on the material you cover in your syllabus. And then finally, our Ready, Set, Go assignments are turnkey. We have preloaded about 10 questions per chapter for homework assignments for you to use in your class. And all of these questions match the book chapters. You'll want to make sure you specify which kind of assignments you would like set up for your course. And finally, any special requests. As you can see, as you can see, getting started with Flix is very easy. And finally, if you would like to speak with a representative about Flix, all you need to do is contact us at flix at flatworldknowledge.com and we'll get back to you 
as soon as possible. Thank you so much for spending time with us today to learn about Flix for economics and for accounting. We'd love to work with you. So thanks again from all of your friends here at Flat World Knowledge. <laughs>